Uh, I'm Paul Laskowski. I'm Jeffrey Yao. And we're so excited to have you here. Uh, we think we have a wonderful course ahead, packed with lots of statistical techniques, lots of ways to think about data, um, and we're, we're just tremendously excited about it. Right. Uh, so I'm Paul Laskowski. Uh, I actually graduated from the Information School with my PhD a couple of years ago, and I use economic tools often applied to network industries, competition between um, ISBs. I've been teaching with the data science program for uh, almost since the data science, since the program began, actually. So I'm really excited about this course. Um, I'm Jeffrey Yao, uh, and I actually study mathematics at the undergraduate level, and I go on to get my PhD in economics at University of Pennsylvania. Um, my first job is actually a professor in economics, uh, and after that, I move on to um, in the private sector in finance. Uh, and in my day-to-day -day job, I actually have used a lot of time series technique as well as other econometric techniques. So. And I was so excited when I heard that Jeffrey was, was going to be teaching this course with me. Uh, Jeffrey has, has such a great knowledge of all of the techniques that, that we're working here and so much hands-on experience. But I would say that one of the most fun facts about Jeffrey is that he likes to wake up at 4 in the morning. Um, often on, on days when we're going to, to have our preparation meetings, to go surfing. And that's why he maintains such a pleasant demeanor, even through the toughest statistics problems. And since he mentioned one fun fact about me, I need to do the same to him. Uh, so Paul told me that he actually traveled uh, over 40 countries in the world, uh, averaging about three per year. That's one thing that I really do enjoy. So um, what, what would you say, Jeffrey, is what's really special uh, about the course that we've created? I think the specialty about this, uh, this course is the, uh, is the mathematical foundation that we set up for the course so that student really can understand uh, the, the details and the technique that is present. And more importantly, uh, we apply the, the mathematical models into many real-world data sets as well as simulated data sets so the student really can get a hands-on experience of how to apply this in many different situations, which I think is very important for data scientists. I think that's exactly right. We've been very careful to, to strike a balance, uh, giving enough theory that, that you're well positioned to really uh, think about these methods and understand their strengths and weaknesses, but also a lot of hands-on experience that you're ready to just get down straight into the data. Yeah. So the first, the, the first half of the course, we actually start out with uh, probability theory and statistics. Paul, can you tell us more about um, just the beginning of the course? That's right. In the beginning of the course, we really look at you know, the underlying math uh, and, and, and statistics that, that underlie all of the techniques that we're looking at. So this is a very challenging part of the course. Uh, but we really think as students that, that you need to be very well versed um, and all of these terms that we're just going to be using over and over as, as we continue through the semester. Right. Um, then we'll quickly move through linear regression, uh, looking at a particularly starting focus at causality, and then on to time series. Yeah. And then we'll spend the, red, uh, the second half of the course on time series analysis. And like I said before, um, the techniques that are being used in, uh, that, that are being studied in this course is actually used a lot. Uh, in the field of data science. And I myself in finance, and I can tell you that this uh, definitely used on a day-to-day -day basis. We should also mention that this course, we, we really view it as a continuation of uh, exploring and analyzing data, which is a, a beginner core course right. that we have in the data science program. And in a sense, what we've tried to do is view this as an advanced course, but also a course that comes next in line after that course. So in fact, we'll pick up where exploring and analyzing data leaves off with, with a look at ordinary least squares regression. But we're going to do it looking at really digging into the details and making sure that you know what to do uh, when assumptions are violated. Right. And so we hope that you uh, really enjoy this course. And I think uh, we are going to have a fun 14, 15 weeks. And the best of luck.